you from my repair, shoe repair shop in Wailuku, Hawaii called If This Shoe Fits. And today I am going to mix a custom color for a wedding. This bride has decided her um, colors are going to be an ivory dress. And she's doing this really beautiful, she has this gorgeous like auburn hair and she's doing this headdress that is very vintage and it has, it's, it has a lot of uh, plum and... <laughs> Sorry about that, friends walking by. Anyway, uh, she has it has plums and purples and ivories in it, and this beautiful. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And so we are going to bring that color down to her feet in her shoes. And so she has picked this color. Um, my sponsor is uh, Touch Ups Benjamin Walk, and they have sponsored me on the color. So uh, thank you to them. And I'm using this color chart. She picked the um, A114. And as I've said before in my um, how to dye a fabric shoe, if it's on your wedding, three, some things you want to remember are what time of day, is it going to be inside or outside, and um, what kind of lighting if it is indoors. So fluorescent light looks very different than you know your regular halogen bulb. So um, hers is going to be outside in the afternoon, and I'm going to mix this color, but I'm actually going to test it at the time of the day outside, make sure I get the color right. And so anyway, um, this color has a uh, color code of 13, the color number 13, the color number 16, and then the color number 20, which is a red. So I'm going to be mixing these, and um, it says that we need, I'm using this special uh, color shot glass. And it, the first one is the letter B, the second one is the letter A, and then you fill it to the top according to instructions. So the first step is to put color 13 up to letter B. So I take my 13, which is kind of a, um, it's kind of a grayish blue, it's a, a grayish blue is the best way for me to describe it. Now you actually build these colors upon each other like a cake, so you really want to follow the instructions. Uh, then we have number 16, which is a very dark blue, and this is going to letter to A, which is just about midway there. So, let's see, there we go, right there to letter A, and then they want us to put red up to the top, and so we'll do that to that top line. I think I put a little too much of the first color in there, but I can always adjust it. Um, I don't mind making a little more anyway because the shoe that we're coloring for her has a, a tall heel, so a lot of extra fabric. Um, never bad to have a little left over. It's better than when you're mixing a custom color like this not having enough color. Yikes. So um, there we have it, and we're going to take a little um, dauber. These are little wool daubers, I love them, and I mix the color, really mix that first, yeah, so here we go. Yep, and we'll just put that on our color swatch, and boy, I can tell right out of the gate that this is a really close color. So, wow, that's almost an exact match, which is so lucky. Uh, reds, Reds, you know, they're, they're kind of, they can be kind of tricky, not as tricky as ivories. If you click the link, you'll see my uh, how to dye ivory um, beige more likely. So anyway, here we go, and I'm going to let this dry. I will test it and then come back. I'll leave my colors out in case I need to add a couple of drops of something or the other, and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. Um, you notice the lighting has changed. That's because it is in the afternoon, and um, we've got a little bit cooler colors. So I have actually done four different uh, samples. The first one wasn't quite dark enough, and so I added a little bit of the, the blackish gray color, and then I ended up doing a little bit more blue, and it gave me just the absolute perfect color. Plus, I went outside and tested it in the light, and it's just right. So um, I'm gonna, we, the shoes are still on their way, so I'm gonna go ahead and store this in a glass jar. You know, this doesn't produce fumes, so there's nothing wrong with putting them in a glass jar. And uh, they'll store just absolutely perfectly for me. And I'll probably pull it out before the, I actually apply the dye and make sure that the color's still true. And there we go. 
So I will come back, dye the shoe for you, and we will wrap it up. Okay? fabulous sandals. These are the uh, really cute uh, touch-ups that our client is doing. They are drying right now, so I'm not going to buckle them. If you put something that touches them, I have mentioned before, if the two pairs touch, they will show a watermark, so I'm letting them just have some space to dry. It'll take about an hour, and um, I, as you saw in the demonstration there, I used a wool dauber and I also used a paintbrush, and these actually clean up really well, and I can reuse them. And um, they get right into those little cracks, especially um, as you might have noticed when I was doing this part of the shoe right here. I actually tilted the shoe down so that the dye flows down and not onto the sole of the shoe. This dye mix that I did has a red in it, and as I've mentioned before, red on leather it it just immediately stains so I kept a paper towel nearby um, just in case and uh, but it didn't have any problems so that's good and again I always allow the dye to drip towards the rest of the fabric rather than onto the sole of the shoe another thing that you might have noticed was I actually took my wool dauber and went right over those rhinestones which is um, great because then I went in, after you do that, you can just take a paper towel, and a wet paper towel, and go right over those rhinestones and it'll clean the dye off of the rhinestones. So all in all, pretty easy on a scale of one to five. This was complicated because the color is a complicated color. Um, we used red, a green, blue, and um, also a real, a, a, a aquamarine color blue. So the three of those together made this beautiful color of plum. And um, as I mentioned, the client has a beautiful headdress. This is going to go wonderfully. This is the afternoon time of the day that she will be wearing these shoes and they're just going to dry perfectly. So thanks again for joining me. Um, click the link attached if you'd like to see a demonstration of another color, maybe the Tiffany blue. That's a fun one. And uh, Thanks for joining me. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Aloha.